in a world where gods walk the night sky and their champions battle evil, an unlikely group of individuals find themselves in a fight to save it. Coming from the far corners of the unforgiving land of Theros, they find themselves divinely linked. They have been sent on a journey to save Theros from impending destruction. Ezrin Azul Nightshade, a Triton Nyxborn artificer, with her trusty constructs, Mr. Clickety Clack and Dr. Calamario. Tari, a Leonin barbarian from the northern Oreskos Valley. She has turned her back on the gods and champions no one but her people. Lucky Lala, a druid satyr of the Skull of Ale, wanders the vastness of Theros with awe and amazement. Rexenor of Miletus, a powerful wizard, he's a devout follower of the gods and is forever driven to seek their divine favor and knowledge. Theodore, a minotaur bard from Stophos, has chosen to seek the gods' knowledge and alienate themselves from their own warlike people. Together, these champions are the Asteronauts. Swaddle him. Just swaddle it. Just. And <laughs> find it up like this. <laughs> hey, Tech. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for saying hi. My computer's having major issues right now, so I can't even get my audio to work properly and all this kind of stuff. So, ba ba uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hang in there with me. Oh, oh my god. I thought I was going to go first. <laughs> What'd you get? You got, okay, 21, nicely done. Wow, I gotta, yeah, I even had all your faces in order. Yeah. I gotta move them around. Yeah, me too. No, I messed it all up, guys. Yeah, uh, you just roll too well. It's gonna be that kind of a night. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, hope, the, the, let's hope initiative is not our best roll. Right. <laughs> That's usually the case. <laughs> Atari. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I thought 17. I thought I was going to be at the top, but I guess not. I'm okay with that. I'm in the middle. I was like, 13? Oh, well, that's pretty respectable for Rex. Four. Four. <laughs> right. I just have to say, I'm so excited for Saturday. Just oh, yes! To put that on. Yeah. Well, don't expect much from me. That's all I gotta say. Hey, I'm Apostle. Very, very... Hey, Tack Eeyore. Got a couple viewers on the, on the old internets. On all right well, cheers y'all y'all ready to do this let's do it let's do it let's do it let's guys. talk to these steamy hot metal boys all right so welcome back to theros champion the gods oh, where sorry a little booger um where you all play as D, D greek ish champions uh adventurers going around theros trying to uh bring order and proselytize people and do good work in your god's names and the minions coming down my way okay here hold on your tummers, do you have oils sorry he's not feeling great tonight is he feeling any better he is feeling much better but he was really tired when i picked him up and i was like walking around the store and he fell asleep in my arms so now he's like Awake, but he said his tummy hurts. I don't uh -oh. think. I think he just wants snuggles. <laughs> it's just a commercial. I'm gonna turn. We'll see. I might have to go upstairs for a little bit with him. Okay, sorry. All Did right. What's that? Nothing. Okay. okay. So, anyway, you all are continuing your gallivanting around Theros. I updated the map, so you'll. Once it loads in, if it loads in. It did. It, okay, good. Um, where you guys have made it all the way to Akros, a city not dissimilar to Sparta, except for the, well, I guess modern day Sparta, given that it's destroyed. Uh, yet another <laughs> it's, one. It's bites, looking real Spartan right now. Exactly. Yet another one bites the dust. And not to say that their, their government is still intact. There is a regent queen. Uh, there is a dead king. 
but uh, and you're on your way to go find out maybe what happened to the actual queen, and you're making your way out of Akros, ran into a hot metal boy uh, <laughs> right outside the Faragax Bridge. On your way to Fort No Hope, or sorry, Camp No Hope and Fort Sandmouth. And then on to perhaps the ocean. The uh, the technically still functioning government reminds me of Mars Attacks. Yeah, it's it's not it's also not dissimilar to Mars Attacks. <laughs> we still got two out of three branches of government, and two out of three right. ain't bad. It's just Jack Nicholson barricading himself in <laughs> the White House panic room or Situation Room. How like life? How like life? All right. So the last time you all played, again, like I said, you came across this um, Warforged uh, war uh, construct, I guess, would be probably the best way. He was uh, created with a band of other creatures uh, of the same type uh, by Eroas himself to help defend uh, Fort Sandmouth. As you guys are walking through this cavern not cavernous but um desert maze like environment again he's this guy's like 20 feet tall you're this bzz, bzz, bzz. is there anything that you want to do or say as you prepare um to enter the area of the faragax bridge <coughs> hmm Well, Theodore, Theodore is going to say, uh, Vrakos, what is your story? Uh, let me look it up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> he will say, and I don't think <clears throat> the, the, the chat can hear my voice modulations, but hopefully the rest of you can. So let me know if you can. Can, can you guys hear this? Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Fuck yourself. <laughs> I am Vrakos. I am one that was given to you by Eroes. What Eros. more do you want to know? <laughs> for, for what purpose? I gotta remember his voice, sorry. Oh, right. It was to defend Fort Sandmouth from doom. And can we assume that you were successful? No, I am the last. We were eradicated. Well, that is that is most unfortunate. I will play you a dirge on my didgeridoo. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how mournful the blast was. Yes. Uh, let's see. That is a uh, a twenty one. You're all weeping now. I am sad. I have been charged. <laughs> Song by Radiohead. <laughs> I have been given the task of defending the Faragax Bridge. Until today, we are abandoning the bridge. Does that mean Akros has fallen to the enemy? Yes and no. The government and the army is intact. Okay. What kind of um, foes did you face? What kind of battles did you have? What monsters? We fought minotaurs and other creatures like returned and... 
Were there oh, other yeah. titans? Were there any titans? In the end, there was one titan. And Cyclopses. How did you escape? I suffered grievously and was left for dead. I'm so sorry. Oh, Is there any really way, Ezrin, as an artificer, you can mend some of his wounds or mend any parts from him? I am fully mm -hmm. mended. Thank okay. you. Anybody else? Any other questions? So, uh, does he uh, want uh, us to follow him? Or does he want to join us? Yeah, so you guys, you know, put up camp the night before, and he uh, stuck with you, and so he's, yeah, his he said last time that his job was to escort you to uh, Camp No Hope and then on to Fort Sandmel. Camp, Camp No Hope sounds nice. It's great this time oh, of year. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> very, very moving. <laughs> okay. Uh, what awaits us there? Camp No Hope is one of the last encampments before you enter the desert. It is a desolate, rowdy, and uncouth place. It sounds as bad as an Arby's. <laughs> it is much, much better than an Arby's. <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, should we follow him? Should we journey? Yes, I, 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 I think so. Uh, Rexnor is going to do an Arcana check on our uh, steamy hot metal friend. And I wanted to do insight. Huh? Oh, I have crappy insight. Oh, well. oh. Hey, we got the same score. <laughs> <laughs> With a plus 13 natural plus. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, I could do perception, but I don't think that's gonna help. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. I could so, probably do insight too. So Theodora got twenty one on. You probably get a higher Arcana check. That All right, so cool. Nat one on Arcana, you have got that, and then fourteen. Yeah, I've got no idea how it works. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just Let's roll science. Uh, <laughs> Ezrin, you, you you are. Um, I feel like she's all right, or he's all right. Yeah, it, yeah. Fourteen, 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 fourteen. Yeah, oh, no, right. that tracks. Oh. Fourteen, another one. Well, that's... Okay, it is totally broken. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Theodore goes down this as well. Oh, okay, well, oh, okay. it broke it. Oh, uh, <laughs> Theodore got a fourteen. <laughs> so, uh, Andy, the I'm, I, it, so the rules say that that's like threshold. So there you go. Yeah. That, that, what are the chances? You know of, just enough to not know of? nearly yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Chat, I wonder. I'm, if, chat, I'm gonna get. Like I'm, I'm, chat, I'm gonna need you to figure out what are the odds of getting out of seven rolls, getting six fourteens. <laughs> With everybody having different plus modifiers. Yeah, with too. everyone having different modifiers. Really? That... Oh different my modifiers. gosh, that's crazy. That's nuts. Wow. wow. We need a statistician to like watch this game and like have his mind no, blown. No, <laughs> we need someone to code roll twenty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Their, their random number generator. So again, I I think that <laughs> of course, tracks. Of course it I is. mean, wow. Nice. The way that my experience. I tend to double Jaggy at least. Man. No, all of my rolls are doubled at least. So. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah. I mean, in terms of Vrakos and what it's all about, uh, you know, it's a stranger, and you're still getting trust in it. Okay. That's how tall is he? 
This uh, is, just... is basically just going to message to everyone. <laughs> we need to be aware. We need to be ready for anything. Uh, and since since you mentioned long rest, I'm going to go ahead and roll my uh, portents. Yeah. Oh, I think I still have yeah. damage. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be kindle my be amp my spells. All right. That's so slightly worse than last time. Is he controlled by um, Aroas, or is he just created by Aroas? Aroas going to look at him and go, I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. Never seen anything uh, like yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's probably, we probably don't know that. With a fourteen, with a, yeah, and with an you can do a religion check. No. no. On a scale of fourteen to thirty-three, I'm at best a fourteen. Uh, I, I I will that get in on religion as that's well. Fine. I'm pretty eighteen. Oh, that's that's better. Better. oh nope. my god! Fourteen. <laughs> Never mind. Fourteen. That's the Play. magic number. Two. You're stuck. Oh, Today's roll twenty. Brought to you by fourteen. Brought to you by the number fourteen. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, with an eighteen, you definitely get the sense that this construct uh, definitely has its own uh, ability to make its own decisions. Uh, it, oh, absolutely it absolutely does not be appear. 13, to be, by the way. Okay. Okay. Uh, it okay. absolutely yeah. does not, not appear to be uh, controlled directly by any outside entity. And if it was being controlled by a god, it'd be tough for you to tell at, with an eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. I think we should move forward. I, I'm ready to. I guess. We have so, no other leads. <laughs> yeah. Unless you um, want to go to Akros. Yeah, we are the number 14 instead of the number 9. Um, yeah, I mean, you can go back to Akros. You guys just left Akros. So, I don't know if you remember. There were, yeah, there were a number of different quests that you were offered to do for the royalty. And one of them was to either, well, two of them, I guess go out towards the west and beat up a bunch of ghouls and goblins and baddies or go towards the south and try to see if you can uncover if the queen regent um Kamidi is dead or the queen Kamidi is either dead or captured or in hiding or what okay. so and you guys chose to do that let's let's head down there then so you guys chose to go a little west and then south. You're going to beat up and a couple that, things. And that way, the regent isn't hot on our tail. And Rex and R suspect that the regent probably killed the queen herself. Could be. All right. Um, so... Roll an investigation. Oh, another 14. Wow. Oh, wow. We are down. <laughs> Especially now that you're several, uh, several kilometers away. Um, yeah. Hey, a 14 from this distance would be pretty good. It would be pretty good. So... <laughs> You all trek on for actually a couple more miles uh, from your camp, and yep, marching along, and you see this stonework up ahead, and Vrakos looks at you all and says, We are approaching the Ferragax Bridge. Be aware, it is not safe. That's quite a bit different from everywhere else we've been. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. You, you've got to laugh, haven't you? <laughs> no, I do not laugh. No <laughs> laughing. Can you make a laugh box for him, Esrin? I do not. <laughs> I am a soldier. Shall we continue? <laughs> oh, I like the laugh box idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you all be back. <laughs> you all continue through this archway, and mm -hmm. it gets dark. Even though just a minute ago, the sun mm -hmm. seemed to be shining almost poundingly bright, obnoxiously bright. Uh, luckily, Tari had her all of her hair blown off or burned off last week, and so 
She, uh, she's feeling nice and cool. Maybe a little bit of sunburn. <laughs> and you can clearly see that these these this collapsed archway, when you pass it, leads into an absolute chasm of a location that almost has a, an environment of its own. Let me know if you can't see it. Yikes, those hands what? are freaky deaky. It's black. <laughs> let me see if I need to zoom out. I'm, I'm, I'm getting just black. Okay, let me... Let me favorite. turn on your side again. Let me see here. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. Braco, Ooh. Like the, Ooh, another the Call of Duty game. A modern warfare, maybe. So it's dark oh. here, but it's not like in a cave, right? It's just the air, the sky just turned dark. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, it just it's feels shrouded. It's like a shroud. Of yep. Yep. Oh. And and further on, you see this outcropping from the land uh, on the other side in this um, still intact archway, where the one that you just walked through is mostly mm -hmm. in rubble. Can we? Do I see? Does it look like it is safe to fly over it? Um. Do a history check. I can't fly anymore. I can noise help. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen, really? A fourteen. <laughs> I'll also get it on the history check. You know, that's get not only a bad number for you, it's a bad number for the DM. Because, like, yeah. what do you do with a 14? Yeah, oh. yeah it's, like, not high, I, not low. I fucking, I fucking hate people when people roll 13s and 14s, because it's like, oh, It's, ah. like, big. You're like, what do you do? Yeah. How much do you give? Mm. Exactly. I think I need to start, like, keeping track of 14s. Yeah, you should. Make make some uh, tally, tally marks. There we go. Blackjack, baby. Much better. All right. So Rexenor got a 21, finally. Uh, Ezrin, yeah. You know, could, you might remember some of it, but it's kind of hazy. Could be bad, could be fun. You know. Oh, uh, can, I, can I roll for it? Yeah, yeah, anyone can roll. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I do have plus five, so let's see. No, not any better. 13, 24. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Fairnix and Rexenor, you, you know, you've all been kind of talking to different people passing by, and you've been chit-chatting with Vrakos and just a vague memory of stories in the past. And what you know about the Faragax Bridge is this is one of the main or only uh, crossings of the Data River upstream and heading out into the Badlands. It is also said to be uh, a massive cavern, as you can see, perhaps leading as deep as the underworld itself. It is uh, filled with many mysterious, foul creatures. And to guard the bridge is seen as one of the highest honors in Akros. And you know that Vrakos here has said that he has been guarding it and that he is now going to guard you instead. And they are going to temporarily abandon the bridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, can I do like a perception check to see if there's any imminent mortal danger near us? Uh, Is, are there any creatures or monsters lurking? Yeah, as you start to walk in, you can do a kind of a okay, perception check. You kind of poke your head in. Yeah, I was gonna stick my head. Wait, I'll see how they right here. And Bracos Everybody continues starts. to walk forward. Seventeen. Anyone else want to get in on that? Yeah, I will. That one. Oof. Oof. Yeah, you don't see anything. I might not not seen it today. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That one. All right. So I was gonna rely on my passive, but I feel like I need to do the active now with Rexador. I have plus six for perception. Oh, twice, Ezrin. Um, it's oh, that's Kamali. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Wow, okay. Ezra, Ezrin's like, hmm, I yes, forgot. the bridge is indeed a bridge. <laughs> yeah. 
Some of you have no idea. Your eyes are still adjusting. It feels creepy. You're not really digging what what's going on here. And you're, you know, almost tired of this, right? However, a little Rexenor, definitely uh, Ezrin herself, Dr. Calamario, uh, Rex, and Mr. Clickety-Clack. So really just... Tari and Theranix have no idea what's going on. Not right now. You all definitely, there's this strange upward breeze of, it's a, it's very cool, but it, it feels wet. It's a, it's a, it's a humid cool, you know? Is it moist? It's moist. And it stinks. It's very acrid. I've, I've been to Louisiana, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, it's like New Orleans. <laughs> it's it's like New Orleans. It's it'd be like a like Greeley if it was humidity, you know. If I had <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it just smells like awful, awful, awful. And yeah. let's see. Yeah, Rex and Ezrin. You also hear this like, scr- like occasional scraping noise. Noise and like rocks, kind of. Ding, 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 ding. Ezrin, do you hear that? I do. What is the sound? Can I like investigate the sound? Um. Where? Or maybe not. Um. With a twenty-one, I'll I'll give it to you. You you look around and you eventually see and point out. A number of different creatures. First of all, climbing up the arms, you see a couple giants. Ooh. Giant creatures in the middle of the bridge. And then you see a few more creatures closer to you all climbing and landing on uh, top. Returned. Yes. Returned indeed. Um, I need to make initiative for myself. I moved too far forward. <laughs> You can, you can, yeah, I guess you did walk forward. All right. So, um, first in initiative is Ezrin. Yes, so. Crawl up. I will immediately start to get into battle mode, and first I will yell, halt, but they're returned, so they're just going to attack us anyway, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yell halt, and they look at you, oh, and and you just hear trespasser. That is definitely the worst of our crimes. <laughs> um, I was just seeing if there was anything I could do. So they're climbing up the arms. Is that right? Uh, yeah, they're pretty much at the at level with you at this point. Okay. I will. Okay. Quick question, Tari. If I were to um, hand you my spell storing item that has my blur spell, you have to maintain concentration on it. Are you able to do that when you rage? Uh, I don't believe. I don't so. think so. I'm pretty sure that uh, rage goes beyond uh, concentration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Strength saving. I don't think this is going to work. They're probably super, super strong. <laughs> Unless I get a 14. <laughs> <laughs> If their strength is 14, that's going to be what, really What do they point. have to do? Sorry. Oh, I was just talking to myself because I was debating trying to push them off, but I think... Uh... I, I had that same thought. I've been playing a Star Wars game, and one of the things you can do is, like, force push guys off a platform to beat them. <laughs> just my first instinct now. It's like, uh, Tom went ahead and installed that on his new computer, and he played it for, like, 10 minutes, and he was like, I need to play this again. 
It's it's fun. It's hard, but it's fun. Ezra, what are you doing? Um, I'm sorry. It. I wasn't expecting. I, I'm not used to <laughs> first. I know it's hard to plan when you're first. <laughs> I know. I usually spend a bunch of time planning what I'm gonna do. The returned have returned. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and. They're made of metal, or they have metal on them, metal armor and stuff. Uh, the uh, returns certainly do. Yeah, and then what are the John? The okay, so the returns are coming up next to us. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then there's the giant. Oh. Oh. I am going to. Are the returned on the walls? Oops. I mean, too. Sorry. Uh, they've landed on the platform right next to you. But they're on a platform yeah. that's like on the edge. I mean, sort of. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do? If I were to push them 15 feet, would they fall off the edge? I mean, you can try it. Well, I mean, like, with my perception, can I tell if they're 15 feet from the edge? Yeah. They're, I mean, 15 feet's quite a bit of ways. Okay, so I'm going to try to gust of wind, which is a line. So 60 foot long, 10 foot wide line. Okay. And where are you doing that line? I'm doing the line. Yep, there. So it hits those two. Oh, okay, those two. Yeah. And what do they have to do? They have to do a strength save. I believe. Um, hold on. So that one fails. I guess it's and that each one fails. creature that starts its turn in the line. Okay. So, okay, but they both fail. Mm -hmm. So I guess technically it's at the start of their turn that maybe they'll get pushed 15 foot. Which okay. Does that push them off? Yeah. Yay! All right. And then, sorry, my second one, I'm just going to aim a... I mean, my heavy crossbow to giant. Yeah. Okay. Line on up. 28. 28 11. hits. And Pi and Arcane Joke. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Wow. Yeah, big hit from Ezrin. On both and the then, things. On all the things. Calamaria is going to run over to the ones that didn't fall off. And he is going to attack. Well, so they haven't fallen off yet. Because you still need to maintain concentration. So if you get hit before their turn, you drop concentration. Mm. Yeah. I don't really get why it's the start of their turn, but that's fine. Yeah, uh, it's oh, yeah, that is that is fucking weird. That's like why would that be at the start of their turn for the initial blow? But that's how it looks like it's worded. That's weird rule is written. Yeah. It's, it tracks, but Yeah. Okay. Strange. The uh, ones that aren't in the line, because I don't want Dr. Calamario to go flying off. Well, Tex says, Tex says it's because it affects movement. That's that's his thought. Okay. Mm, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so Dr. Calamario is going to go attack the other one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I hadn't used that um, spell really before, because I never really had a need. Okay. <laughs> Which... 25 hits. Yep. Six force. And six force damage. And clickety clack. I have no idea where clickety clack is. Oh, there he is. Underneath me, yeah. He's underneath you. <laughs> he's going to come up. Um, he's going to fly to the other side so he can. Can he flank or no? Uh, no, because he's little. Okay. Well, he's going to go there anyway and try to hit. So, we're. So, we're going to create. Wait, so 21 oh, and six sorry. force. Ah. Sorry. I'm trying to put them on the square. Okay, so what's he doing? He got a uh, 21, 21 hits, and another six force. Yep. Awesome. And that's my turn. Okay. 
That's your turn. Uh, Pharynx, you're up. Okay, my turn won't take too long, but Sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna approach. Um, <laughs> so these guys have any damage to them? These two? Uh, the first one does. This one. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go over here and see if I can finish him off. Okay. I, 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 well, I doubt it, but I'll try. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use my um, mace. My, he's, I mean, he's, he's gonna warhammer. kick him and say, "This is Acros." Warhammer. <laughs> does ah, eleven hit? Eleven does not hit. You get cocky and you swing your warhammer and miss him. <sighs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, I that's mean, not, that's not wise, true. Damage wise, I feel like I'm a. <laughs> well, that's a cleric. I that's, miss. That's a cleric for you for sure. Okay, well, I tried, um, and that's my turn. <laughs> I know how Rexnor felt to like level nine. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Tari, you're up. Um, has any of these enemies ha uh, so had any damage or anything? Uh, yeah. So this, the first one here. Oh, I just moved him. Oops. Uh, this one here. Is a is he's hurt. Okay. It they they. Um, am I able to like come around here? Uh, that's where clicky clack is. You can kind of go right in the cat corner. Right there. Why is clicky clack out now? Yeah, five hit points. Being... Did I do that anymore? Like here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going to hit that one. Okay. And I'll give you, uh, I'll give you Are advantage you on this. Well, first, I, first, I'm raging. I got rage. Gonna rage. Gonna rage. Click that hand. Where is it? Rage. Okay. Raging, and I'm gonna hit it with my defender greatsword. Awesome. Um. Is it flanked? Yeah. Do yeah, I get yeah. advantage? Yep. It is at this point. You got four guys on it. Thirty-one. Yeah. I think thirty-one hits. Yeah. How did he hit so high? I mean, just plus twelve. That is ridiculous. Who? That's how'd that happen? I'm very. Favor plus three sword. Oh right. <laughs> right. Okay. What next? Right. I'll hit again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Only twenty nine, man. Oh, jeez, you're so weak. <laughs> but both fifteen. You know what? I'm just not even gonna say anything. That's good. Yeah, you're just gonna, you know, it's another day in the office. Another day in the office. Bam, bam. I'll take it. All right. Uh, uh, that's my turn. Okay. Um, Did he die? No. Oh, these are strong. Hmm. A little bit. Yeah, he's not feeling great, I'd imagine. Right. And I actually... Hold on. Yes. Sorry. So I didn't want... I, I was messing... I messed this up a little bit. So there's going to be three bad guys. Mm -hmm. And just for the sake of what we're doing... Uh, Vrakos is gonna go one to one against one of them and pretty much occupy him the whole time. Just a heads up. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's Tari's turn. Rexenor. All right. So I am going to cast a spell I have never cast before, uh, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, so uh, let me bring up my spell sheet here. And I'll go ahead and mark that off. And I will put this right here in the chat. I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Okay. Uh, I create a twisting color of patterns that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. Uh, I'm going to have that cube start here. And I believe uh, it should then, uh, hopefully, this will be able to come off. Um, but it should get all three of these within that pattern. Okay. Uh, so it's um, the thirty foot cube. Thirty foot cube. 
And all three of them. And does Rakos have to do it too? Uh, no, I'm trying to place it so that he is not within that queue. Okay, and sorry, I was busy screwing around with trying to find Yeah, yeah, damage. yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, what kind of save? Uh, uh, it is a wisdom saving throw, uh, DC 18. Okay, we'll do the top one. Eight. Nope. Middle one. Nope. 14. Nope. Right one. 10. <laughs> on a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated, has a speed of zero. Spell ends for an affected creature if it takes any damage or if someone else uses an action to shake the creature out of its stupor. So don't touch it. <laughs> Leave that one be. <laughs> How long does it last for? Only it lasts for a minute. minute. Or it lasts concentration up to a minute. So I do have to maintain. Same question. Does it yeah. work on this? Yeah, so you cast a spell and you see this glittering, swirling vortex, and you see these like red eyes begin to kind of go and they power down. And then right when you're like, fuck yeah, they go oh, fuck. and Aww. nothing happens. Makes a possible. Damn uh, it. They are undead creatures. And yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. <laughs> Um, I should have thought that through a little more. Uh, I'm going to say, well, everyone, they're immune to charm, so um, well done, Rexenor. Uh, and with my bonus action, I'm going to cry. Uh, okay. Are the returned considered a, undead a too? Solitary tear rolls down. Uh, Don't worry, I'm only undead? down a third level spell slot. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, they are also undead. Oh, return to R. Yep. <laughs> well, I could have used that to my advantage. Hey, hey, we learned something valuable today. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Tack Eeyore in chat was like, learning has occurred, and that's very true. Yeah, yeah. I, and hey, again, I'm only down a third level spell slot. Yes, yeah, so you're all right. Uh, Apostle says he couldn't use that on bullshit. Yeah. Right. Apostle says he couldn't let a good fight uh, end like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have you all suffer. Yeah, well, I, 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 saw, I saw the disheartened look on your face. Like, I know. Oh, man, none of them are going to pass? Fuck. Eh, <laughs> if, they, if they all get charmed, whatever. I was like, I don't know if I have enough material. <laughs> do I need to roll anything? Sorry. Do y'all need to, you don't need to roll anything. You're good. No, okay. no, no. no. It, 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 it missed it missed y'all, so. Yeah. Um, all right. That's, that's, I that's your turn. That's Rex Nor's turn. Yeah, Theodore. Oh, wow. I'm back up again. Uh, <laughs> and you got the so, lips. Yeah. Uh, so the, these two are getting hit with a gust of wind? Uh, for now, yeah. yeah. It's right. slowly coming toward them. <laughs> I have uh, Laylaps. Oh, I don't appear to be able to control it. Uh, but I'm going to have him run over and attack this one, I suppose. Okay. Uh, and I will roll a d20. Can you control him? Uh, he misses. Okay. <laughs> I assume. Unless he's got a plus 16 I don't know about. Um, does he get two attacks? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay, well, that's his turn. Uh, Theodore, for his part. <sighs> hmm... I think he'll do, uh, let me, Unsettling Words, what is that, as a bonus action. Uh, so he is going to use Unsettling Word on uh, this creature and reduce his next saving throw by eight. Dang. That's pretty okay. badass. Uh, and then with my action, I'll cast Vicious Mockery on that creature. <laughs> okay. You suck. Wisdom save. Wow, that spell sucks. Jeez, that cannot uh, be right. That cannot be right. Two uh, psychic well, damage? Uh, minus eight would be... 14. Actually, does it get... Hold on. That is not right either. I'm going to roll two more d4s because that is not enough damage. 
So total should be seven psychic damage, I guess. And twenty-two doesn't save. Uh, minus eight. Oh yeah. So Fourteen, no. which does not save. All right, and minus seven. Uh, he loses seven hit points and uh, has disadvantage on his next attack. All right. Cool. Okie dokie. That's my turn. Them's your turn. Next up are the baddies. Oh, no. <clears throat> so. Here we go. Here we go. Going first. Now, I'm going to... What's your spell save, DC, Ezrin? It is 18, I believe. Okay, and investigation's a intelligence, right? Huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, I'm just rolling something. What is it? 18. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first guy over here sees mm -hmm. that you are blowing a gust of wind and he's going to try shooting at you with an underworld bolt. Uh, Rexenar goes, duck, Ezrin, and he gets a natural three. Oh, good, because that was going to be a nat 20. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. wow. Quick call, quick call, quick. Quick call. <laughs> quick call. Quick call. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, after he says what he rolls, it's fucked. So. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Okay. That was awesome. Intercepted. <laughs> wow. Oh. I saw that coming, Ezra. Oh, thank you, Rex. I don't get hit again until my next turn. Good, <laughs> good move. All right. And then the, the one that is over here is going to go after Tari with an undead bolt or un yeah underwater underworld un underworld bolt that's what's called and that's gonna be a 14 i think that misses let me look at character sheet real quick uh yeah it should miss a, a base is 16. yeah she's at 18. okay um that's their turn so the other two get blown? Well, oh. no. Let me look. Oh, come on. Okay, so actually, um, the first guy gets, or the second guy gets advantage on Tari. Uh, I knew there was something. Let me roll that again. Why? 15. Why? Still didn't make it. You didn't recklessly oh, attack. Well, it doesn't matter, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, well, it's his turn. And the other one, uh, one of them's definitely going to blow away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, there he goes. He falls a very, very long way. The other one, <clears throat> I'm going to let him do a deck save to see if he actually hits a pillar. Mm, if he hits that pillar. That's a 17, and your save is 18? Yep. Bye-bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Bye <laughs> and they are quickly dispatched. They are unreturned. They are unreturned. And then... <laughs> Returned to Cinder. This guy has disadvantage, right? Yes, yeah, so that one has disadvantage. He is going to move Perfect. up. Uh, he's going to keep moving, actually. Oh. <laughs> He's going to go like get away, here. Get away. <laughs> oh, no. And let me see who he's going to attack. Oh, no. Right. All right. He's going to attack Ezrin. Yo. Oh, Ezrin. Ezrin. Can't be right. All right. So his first thing is... Sorry, I got to read the character sheet real quick. All right. He's going to do a two-handed longsword attack. At you. And that's going to be a 22 to hit. Oh, what? Disadvantage. 22 to hit with Y. Oh, uh, yeah. He, does get he got viciously mocked. I, I heard his fee wins. Uh, 22. Oh, wow, fuck. Well, I tried, Ezra. I cast shield and I save. As a reaction? Yep. Okay. This is. 
Okay. Uh, and then it is going... I don't going... think I used my reaction on anything else, right? I don't recall. So. So. All right, and then it's going to do strength drain and try to <gasps> suck... Not this! I hate oh, strength no. drain. <laughs> it's one of my with, fears. With this advantage 13s, it misses. Thank goodness. Wow, it's a plus nine. That sucks. Ooh. All right. So this next one, uh, the second one here, is going to go and attack, let's see, uh, Tari. Uh, I was going to attack Tari. Um, it looks like it's within five foot of Calamario, so it gets disadvantage. Good to know. And it's going to do longsword uh, with a 19. I think that hits. I think that hits. Mm -hmm. I think she has like 17 or something. Zero? Oh, no, that was just... I don't know why it shows up as a thing, but it's just disadvantage. Okay. Actually, it would be a straight roll for the last guy anyway. Um, what is that? Wow, okay, so 19... Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll subtract this for uh, That'd be 9, nine. plus 12 is 21 total. All right. And then he's going to try to do the strength drain on her. Mm. With, with Actually, it's a straight roll, so it's 21, because they're both the same, because why does it matter? And <laughs> that's going to be 13 necrotic damage. And her strength score is reduced by 1d4. You guys will have to tell her by 4. Fuck. Oh. Unless the target is immune to necrotic damage. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're I immune to it since we're Nyxborn. Oh, uh, right? no. Well, we're not you're resistant. I don't think you're immune. We're resistant, so. Oh, resistance different. Yeah. Jesus, that hurts. Dang. So that just happened to Tari? Yeah. Means she loses two off her attack rolls and damage rolls. Yep. Oof. All right, sorry, Over. I gotta fix something real quick uh yeah so that's their turn and ezrin i need you at the top of your turn wait does he get to do a save at the end of its turn the one that's has disadvantage oh no it's just that first attack okay just the first attack yeah not the second okay uh let's see there was there he is i need ezrin roll the same thing anyway so. yeah to do a wisdom saving throw as you start your turn within a certain radius of this creature 15 is the max you, you make it on a success save the creature is immune to the aura for the next 24 hours oh awesome and it's your your turn Okay, so I will. I believe this is bonus action. As my bonus action, I will cast Branding Smite. Sorry, it always rolls the damage. Don't get the damage unless I actually hit. Um, and then I'm going to hit this giant with my Great Axe. Okay. 21. 21, uh, 21 should hit. Awesome. So that'd be 13 slashing, 5 radiant, uh, and then 2 lightning and 4 force. 24 total. That might wow. Be. Yeah. Okay, that's a big hit. And then for my second hit, I will do my great axe again. Oh, well, that uh, 15 does miss. You uh, scoot around it. Miss it. Then Dr. Calamario. So, is Dr. Calamario engaged with the unreturned, or can he start hitting the giant and not get an opportunity to attack? He can turn around. Okay. Tari's not on the giant yet, though, right? So he wouldn't get advantage yet. Yeah, I'm kind of keeping Vrakos out of this fight, so... We, we even want to move him up a little bit. Um, yeah, so he, she, I mean, no, no, he's not uh, flanked. Okay. But Dr. Calamario will try to hit him. 
Although I should probably take out those dice. 28. Okay. So, 8 force. That hits. And Clickety Clack's <laughs> going to continue to hit the un the turn. The under turn. <laughs> 17. On the returned? Uh, on the returned? Mm -hmm. For Clickety Clack? Yeah, that hits. So, a 7 force. Can you get me? Can you get me? Seven force? Yep. All right. Good hit. <sighs> Anything else? Um, can I have my Cloak of Stars on? Uh, you're... It's an action. Oh, is it an action to put it on? Yeah, I... I it takes an action. Unless, well, unless... You, I mean, do you attune to it, or do you just always wear it? Uh, well, it only lasts for... A, like, it lasts for a minute, so I don't think you can just always wear it. Well, we can say that, like, as... He's telling you this is a dangerous area. You're like, eh, boop. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we did. We, you and I definitely heard these things coming. So yeah. I think that. Okay. Cool. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to click it. I'm clicking all kinds of things in here. <laughs> hey, I was I, I was trying to close spells in Thomas's spell sheet, and I was posting shit everywhere. <laughs> Just right, more so... of my unhelpfulness, I suppose. <laughs> so, Ezrin, Ezrin, what are you doing? What? I went. I'm done. You're done? Yeah, the Cloak of Stars is just so they have a disadvantage on me. Okay. Baronyx, you're up. Okay. I am going to attack this creature with a... What's it called? It's called a gun <laughs> guiding bolt. I out my music. oh guiding bolt is a great spell yeah so i will see if it hold on let's just try it okay let's try it level three wow okay oh, yeah. 12 plus 19 radiant damage wow. 24 hit yeah that's a big hit fuck uh, yeah yeah that's level three. And then the next time anybody attacks this person, they will get advantage. Oh my goodness. Because they're, some of the fireballs they're kind of glowing really. with light now. And so they're easier to target. Yeah. That is awesome. Hell yeah. So it's and the then, next attack roll, not everybody. It's just yeah. the next one. Just the next. Yeah. Until my turn, it says. Uh, before... Th well, good the next news. attack Target roll next made turn. against this target before the yeah. end of your next turn. So they have to hit it before the end of your next turn. Yeah. yeah. So that used, I used that at a high level, so I kind of lost a little bit of my spell power. But um, I'm going to actually do Healing Word on Tari at level 2 as a bonus action. Healing Word. Let's do level 2. Did I get some damage? Sorry, I had to. You did. Did. Uh, you got hit for 21. Hold on. Uh, a total of thirty-four and I, lost four points of strength. I already okay. added. I already did this. I already did the okay. HP, so you don't uh, have to worry about that. Three plus six plus ten, because I have that healing bonus as a, as a life. Second level, it'd be healing. four. Uh, thirteen total. What? It's two points per level, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I did the math. Ma I'm ten. I'm ten levels. It's ten points. I think it's at the level you cast a spell. Oh, it's not your your cleric level. I think it's cleric of life. Yes. Oh, plus two puts a spell level, so it's four. Yeah, sorry. So it's thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen extra hit points for Tari. You're down four strength. Um, how how much strength do you have right now, Tari? Uh, five apparently. Ooh. Okay, so how do we this, fix that? I don't remember. I can fix it. I actually have, but I have to use an action. So next turn, if she gets it hit again, I will try to fix it. I can fix it. Uh, so, restoration. It's actually yeah. Um, you have to use mass greater restoration for it to work. Wait, no. It's weird. My. What's up? Sorry, I'm just looking at my um my character sheet and like the 
the modifier went to the normal, like the, um, uh, whatever it's called. So like, it says five and then 20 in a little box. Oh, is yeah. That right? Is that normal? The little, the little box should probably be 16 at this point. Okay. Yeah. I'm just very confused about what happened. Yeah, they flipped it. So yeah, you're... They, they, they've got this strength drain shit that killed Lucky Lala. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you're good. So I should you put it have... to 16 then? Yeah. Andy's found his new favorite mechanic. Yeah, temporary. <laughs> it's temporary, though. It's a temporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll come back. It'll come back. Assuming you don't die. But don't worry. We've got several people to spare the dying in the party. Everything should be gravy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a rod of resurrection now. Yeah, we have a bunch of us can cast healing words. Fer uh, Fernix, anything else? Um, That's the end of my turn. Okay. Tari, you're up. Feeling a little better. Um, you, you get advantage on this if you attack it. True. That one? Okay. Yeah. But you, uh, I think you have advantage already because you're raging, right? Uh, only if she attacks recklessly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack that one then, I guess. There's also a returned that you've been wailing yeah, it's on up over to you. here. She's got two attacks. Advantage. Uh, 15 does not hit. Uh, hit him again. Okay. You got it, you got it, you got it. 23 hits. Go. Very nice. So, 15 um, slashing and 3 rage. Oi. Oi. That's Hit my him. turn. That's your turns. So, uh, go ahead and oh, wait, drain me. Sorry, I need you to do uh, a... Sorry, a wisdom saving throw. Um, do you get advantage for any reason? Didn't mean to do it advantage. So then you failed. So that means on a failed save, so you there's a gatekeeping gatekeeper's aura, and because you start your turn within ten feet of this thing, you are uh, the you are scared of this thing. The creature has a disadvantage on saving throws. And its speed is halved, so that first hit um, still missed. The second hit still hit, so you're good. Who cares? Okay. Any, uh, that's your turn. Rexenor. And I guess Calamario should have got disadvantage, too. Did he even go? What did Calamario do? I guess it's Calamario matter. hit the giant guy. Okay, fuck it. All right, uh, Rexenor. All right. Um... You know, you got to do a wisdom saving throw. Fifteen, easy peasy. We'll see, won't we? It's gonna be a fourteen. Ah, oh, I made it! Oh, nice! I made it! I'm immune, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Plus seven wisdom saving throw. Uh, you know, um, I feel like I've got to do what is on point for myself. So I need that giant in front of Theodore to do a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom. He's about to get hit with a fourth level mind spike. Wow, for shit damage. Nat 20, got a 23. And for even worse damage, he takes five whopping damage. Oh my God, Rexenor. That's over, oh, over two. Classic Rexenor tonight. Over oh, two. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, that's Hey, that's five more damage than I did last time, I suppose. <laughs> um, if I really want to look at a silver lining here, um, fuck it. I'm going to use that uh, third level spell slot that I got back to uh, cast third level healing word on Tari. Uh, so I healed Tari for 14. That's actually nice. Uh, it's not a totally wasted turn. Oh my gosh. What level are we right now? 12. 12, okay. Well, lucky for you, Rexnor, you have another character. So Theodore is up. All right. Um, Laylaps is going to attempt to bite that critter over there and probably miss. 13 plus 
something. Um, hang on. Hellhound 5e. I want a drawing. I don't care. Uh, let's see. That'll be 13 plus 5 is 18. Uh, who are you attacking? Uh, the returned right in front of him. Oh, yeah, that's... All right. I was going to do a D8 plus not much. So that's going to do a whopping 5 damage. Wow. To this return. That's cool. That's the same amount that Rexenor did this turn. Mm -hmm. Not bad, Layla. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not good either, but still. Uh, Theo, for his part, is going to cast Healing Word. We're going to call it at level 4 on Tari, who then gets an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, and is going to heal you for 17. With the power of law, excuse me. With the power of law, Tari, you can make an attack. Do it, Tari. Right. Get uh, it. Who am I going to attack? Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Whoever you want. Uh, I'm going to do this dude because he, like, screwed me up. I mean, you are fully healed. 28 hits, 18 damage. Hell yeah. That's a nice little bonus. Uh, and then with my action, I am going to cast... Uh, of course, it's not on here. Uh, Dissonant Whispers. I'll pop that in the chat just so that we can see it. Um, so the giant in front of me needs to do a wisdom saving throw. It's going to be a 14. Uh, no, he's that's gonna you. Take, uh, that's 10. Uh, he's going to take 14 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far away as its speeds allows. Oh, it, it gets advantage. Sorry. Let me do another one. 16. I think that might let me double check. It looks like that saves. Uh, so he'll take 7 psychic damage instead. Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just... It, it ain't gonna give me jack shit tonight. It's all coming to Millhouse. Alright. Yep. Alright, well, it is their turn, luckily. The first... The first guy... Once he's gonna attack... He's gonna attack uh, Fairnix... Uh, with and he gets advantage with an underworld bolt and does 22 hit actually it doesn't are you sure this time yes are you positive <laughs> i'm positive all right and the next guy is going to go after tari <laughs> what does this one keep rolling Oh, that's my. That's who I was going to attack. Sorry, you guys don't normally see that. Oh. Uh, twenty-three to hit Tari with an underwater underworld bolt. It hits. That's going to be fifteen necrotic damage. You can't regain hit points until the start of the return's next turn. If the target. Oh, it's, good thing, it's a good thing we spammed you with healing word. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, exactly, because otherwise you'd have been, uh, 2d12 plus 2 necrotic damage. All right. Let's have 2d8. And that's... Did the other return die? He's still... Yeah, he's dead. All right. Who's this guy getting attack? Probably Tari. No, well... Yeah, he'll... No, nah, he's gonna he's gonna make the prudent choice and attack Tari. He's gonna do two-handed longsword attack first and foremost. Um, does he get advantage with that? I guess. Uh, she wasn't reckless last turn, so no. But she is flanked technically. Well, there there I can't help you. Yeah. Sorry, Tari. I tried to prove. Oh all. dang! That is a net twenty. Oh. Oh. All right, that's going to be 17, or no, what is going on? Okay, so 22 slashing, so that'd be 11. 
22 total. Yep. Um, and then 17 times 34. 34 necrotic damage. Yowza. So how many? Sorry. Fuck, for that I gotta do math. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-six? Sure. Fifty-six. And then he's going to do the strength drain. Was that total, or was it... Yeah, that's total. That's total. All right. Does a, does an 18 hit for the strength drain? Um, I have 18. So, yes. And it will hit you for 12 more necrotic. And then you also... Let me show you guys this. I'll lose an additional <gasps> fucking four. Oh my strength. god! What are you at with strength? I'd be twelve. Twelve. She's at twelve. Okay, she's 12. okay. She's not down to zero yet. I mean, not great. I know. That's a barbarian. Okay. She needs strength. Okay, so like yesterday, yeah. the apostle's <laughs> getting excited. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So the next one. Is on. Uh, sorry, there's another one for you. I see I'm rolling lots of ones. Uh, that'll get go with Ezrin. And a two-handed longsword for you. That's going to be a 28 to hit. And that's going to be 21 slashing and 10 necrotic to you. Wait, how much? I don't. I only take half of the necrotic. Okay, oh, wait, so... and it's with disadvantage because of my Coca Stars. Oh, okay. Uh, 26. Well, okay. Do, do you want me to re-roll the damage on the 26? No, it's fine. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, it might be worse. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. And then his his drain is um, going to go after Theodore with his strength drain. And th he doesn't get disadvantage or anything, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, he, does, he is missing. Hold on. Oh, that's not him. Okay, so that's going to hit. And it's going to be 13 necrotic plus an additional four strength damage. Oh, my Jesus God. Christ, you're rolling lights out with those fucking D4s. <laughs> I hate the strength thing. It's like the it's worst true. thing in the world. Like that's my biggest fear. You would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So oh. I'm planning my new my next character. So. All right. You won't die. Always, always be prepared. Is what I <laughs> you can always retreat. Hey, hey, uh, hey! I thought Nordak could handle a mind flare too, and uh, we all saw how that worked out. Mind flares are just nightmares. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I nearly killed Lissa's character in our other campaign with a mind player. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that... But I think Toby saved the day, didn't she? Didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ezrin, you're up. Okie dokie. I'm, oh, going... <laughs> I'm going to try this again. Let me see, I'm on number two. Brandy and you, you, you and made the last save, right? Yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. I know she and I are immune. So let me go ahead and do the great attack. Oh, 14's not going to hit. Another fucking 14. Yeah. So I'm going to hit it with a great axe again. 25 hits. 25 oh. hits. So much less damage. So 7 slashing, 8 radiant. My piety and my archangel. Okay. Hey, nice. 26. That went from meh to pretty good. Yeah, solid <laughs> damage. Yeah. Solid. Way to go, Arcane Jolt. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like Arcane Jolt. Anything else? You gonna hit uh, again? Uh, oh, no, that's your second hit. I already missed yeah. the other one. So Dr. Calamario will now hit the, the one giant. At the 16, that misses, I'm sure. Yep. Tickety clack attacks the returned. He's totally going on. Does he get advantage or anything? I guess that doesn't matter. No. By force? Um, 
Yeah, that that hits him, man. He's he's chipping away at this guy real good. And Zetsy's off. Okay. Pharynx, you cannot okay. heal Tari. I know. I have a question. How do you know a challenge rating of a monster or of a of an enemy? As a crapshoot, my friend. Yeah. Um, your character would not know what that even means. Mm. Right. Only only via metagaming. Yeah. So... Or play mm -hmm. experience. So if like I just, if, can if I try this? We fought these guys before, you might have a chance. Right. If you want to know if you guys are going to die or not, you can certainly do like a, either a survival. What is, a, what is a challenge rating anyways? Is that like the difficulty of the monster? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It, is, it is a made up statistic to try to help DMs and counterbalances. That is utter fucking fiction. Yeah, yeah Apostle describes it as a tedious process of guesswork. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was more succinct, but I would argue we were equally accurate. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna channel divinity and turn undead. Okay. And everything within thirty feet of me must take a wisdom saving throw of uh, seventeen. So you're gonna turn undead? Yes. And why are they doing a wisdom throw? Uh, a wisdom save. Sorry. Oh, why? Why are they doing a wisdom save? Because, because they're trying to turn them. Yeah, I'm trying to turn them. They, if they fail, then they are going to... Well, well, uh, there's two, there's two sheet, possibilities. It, on your character sheet, it should have like what that does. You might click that just to pop it into the chat. Yeah, I can actually put that so on So you're trying to you. turn them into undead? No, no turn, trying to turn them away. Debate, turn undead, scare them away. Okay. It's a cleric thing. Yeah. Can, uh, can you put see. the yeah put the spell description in there? Let's see if this will. Does this does this help? There you go. <sighs> you present your holy symbol. Oh, listen to Mo. Okay. Each undead that you hear within thirty feet means make. Okay. 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 All right. We'll do the top. Uh, but giant. you have to read that last sentence. When an undead fails at saving throw on your turn undead feature, the creature is instantly destroyed if my, the challenge my rating guess, is two or below. If the challenge uh, rating is two or below. Okay. My guess is that is not going to be enough at this level. No, um, so they are definitely higher than two. Okay. Hey, you do have destroy undead. Uh, yeah, no, it would be two or lower. You're right. Never mind. Yeah. Do you want me to keep rolling or you want to find another spell? No, that's a, that's an ability. That's not even a spell. That's a that's a cleric thing. It's oh. a, a class ability. Right, well, ability. do you want me to keep rolling? Uh, yeah, it has to be for each of them. So that's a fail. Well, unless unless unless, unless Lund wants unless turn. Lund didn't quite understand like the. Oh, the, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, if you want to retcon it, you know. Oh, okay, go maybe I'll do something different. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going these, to do. So like twos are like simple creatures, simple monsters. Yeah. Sorry. I am going to I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cast greater restoration on Tari and replenish all does this consider healing? Uh what if are you I, doing? I, uh, let me let me give you the description. In it's that second to last sentence here, any reduction to one of the target's ability scores. supposed to heal it um i'll say that you don't heal but you imbue positive energy so what does that mean <laughs> um it means that i am i am doing logist or uh Linguistical somersaults to say that is this is not healing, therefore it falls outside of the rules that say that she cannot heal. So instead, you are increasing uh, her strength points, not her hit points. It's not healing. Yeah, her hit points. I mean, her hit, her strength. So actually, sadly, I have to move to touch her. Does okay. that? Uh, does yeah. That so yeah, because Calamari was in the or uh, Cookie Clack's in that score, so only open. Well. Oh, no. 
You'd have to go all the way over here. You can, okay. but you would take an attack of opportunity. By one of these? Yeah, so he's going to hit you with a... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I want to get her strength back up. Okay, uh, he got a nat 20 oh, no. on that first one. Um, does it go back up to 18 or what? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to be 8 piercing and 24 poison. Am I immune to poison? That or I don't know. Is this, is this, what am I resistant to? Radiant and necrotic. Okay. So. so eight poisoning, 24. Uh, sorry, eight piercing, 24 poisoning. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll give that to you. Why not? I'm, I'm so sorry, tonight. Theranix. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Thank that... you. Thank you for my strength. <laughs> is that we your need, turn? Need you. Um, and that's it. Yes. Okay. Next up is Tari. You're feeling a little more strengthy, but pretty uh, concerned. <sighs> Still raging. I'll heal you next time because next time we can do a mass heal or something. Right. Um. So how do this person, well, whatever, and this one look like. No wonder y'all couldn't hear me. Uh, does she need to do a, a wisdom save? Uh, yeah. Did you make one last time? And fail? Yes. Okay, so then yes. You need to do another, or... Yeah, you need to do a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. You did it! Yay! Hell yeah! So... <laughs> Every I'm time like, you say it, drink a little wine. I'm <laughs> It's yeah. a drinking game gotcha. now. So you no longer have disadvantage attacking this thing. All right. So how do those uh, two individuals, what do they look like? Uh, so this this one next to you looks real bad. This one over here, way over here, looks just fine. This one, um, he's getting bloody. Hmm. And Vrakos and this other giant are duking it out like, you know, a robot. Rock Rock and and fucking robots. Yep. <laughs> it's like I'm just wondering what it's, um It's like Pacific Rim. The which uh target would be the most advantage or advan and advantageous? Advantageous. Um I mean if you wanna eliminate someone and all the damage that they might do, you probably would want to go over after the weaker one. Yeah, he just critted on your cleric, so so which one? Sorry. Uh, this, this, guy. this one. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, avenge me. <laughs> I'm going to attack it recklessly. Okay. Hell yeah. Swipe it off the planet. Yes. Hell yeah. Nineteen hits, and you. No, twenty-seven. How do you want to do this? Woo! Uh, oh gosh. Sorry. Uh, oh, Kat just knocked sense. Tom's uh, uh, pen mug off of the oh off of his desk and into my trash can. Yes. Um. Anyway, uh, Tari picks up her defender greatsword and just slashes him in half. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. And part of his body falls down into the chasm, never to be seen again. Tar and then my second attack, I'm going to attack this dude. What were you saying, Lun? Tari needs to attack, like, like, whoosh, whoosh, and then, like, let the letter T on it or something. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a cat scratch. Uh, yeah. The next one does uh, hit. 27. Yeah. This one. 16 damage. Oh, I need to I need to roll. Oh, I thought that was the last one. That's pretty good though. A 22? 17 damage. Good solid hit. And that's your turn. Yep. Rexenor, you're up. All right. You know, Third things have charm. just not been working out quite the way I want to, and so I'm going to go with the old tried and true. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right about here. No, about here. Perfect. 
All right, so I am going to center a, oh, man. Oh, no, I can do it. 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 Uh, right here. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And I can see that. Uh, I'm going to cast a fireball centered right here. Okay. So it will get this creature and this creature, but none of my allies. Okay. They need to do a deck save. Uh, yes, they are going to have to. And I'm going to, for the very first time, use fireball at sixth level. Ooh, what? Sick of these fucking pricks. Okay, does 19. Uh, the second one will save. The first one will not. Well, so it's advantage. Sorry. Um, oh. All right, the second guy will not save. The first one. Okay, will well, I'll take one of them anyway. Uh, <gasps> so that is 30. 41. Uh, the one that saves will take 20. 41. Pretty solid hit there, bud. For a six level spell, it's it's fine. Um, I mean, that's a lot of ones and threes. He did 60, um, 61 damage overall. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 pretty. It's it's the best I've done this round. It's definitely. Good, it's good wizard. It's good wizard amount of spell amount uh, of uh, damage. Let's see. It took you a while to conjure that though, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, I was trying. I was trying to get creative. And finally, I was like, fuck it. I, I cast Fireball. That's the least creative thing I can do, but it worked. Um, let's see. With my bonus action, I will heal Theo up some. Uh, I'll do a level two. Oh, yeah, nice. That'll heal him almost all the way. Nice. Doesn't Tari, can Tari be healed yet? Nope. Nope. Which is why I didn't do that. Ezrin's looking pretty rough. Uh, and that will be Rexanor's turn. Let me mark off some spell slots real quick. Yep. Uh, and then uh, let's see. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, Laylaps will attack uh, the one that he's on because why I mess with success? <laughs> hey, it hits. Uh, that'll be a D8 plus three, so he gets bit for a whopping ten. That's pretty good. That's hey, that's double what he did last time. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. Theodore uh, is going to let's see. I didn't cast enough damage last time. Uh, I'm going to do Dissonant Whispers again as an action uh, on my turn. Uh, I'm going to cast it on this one in front of me, and I'm going to do that at uh, fifth level. Okay. So it will be a bunch of D6. I'm just going to do it this way. Roll uh, six. Uh, and that giant in front of me needs to do a Wisdom Saving Throw. Uh, that's not gonna cut it. Let's try a second time. That is nope. even worse. It is gonna take 25 psychic damage and must use its reaction to move as far away from me as possible. Not putting itself in danger as much as I'd love to see it go plunging off a cliff. Uh, but it does need to run away from me. Uh, and Ezrin and Ezra. I, I think, could get attacks of opportunity. That's a reaction? Yes. Uh, not Ezrin. She is five, uh, like further away. Uh, so just Theodore. Well, was That's he true. here? He was here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, you both get. Him. You both get attacks of opportunity. Yep. Wait, I'm gonna swing a sword at him. No, I can cast a spell. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna viciously mock him instead. He needs to do a wisdom saving throw, and that's not enough damage for reasons <laughs> I'll never understand. Um. Oh. <laughs> he is going to take another nine damage and has disadvantage on his next attack. And Ezrin, what'd you do? I got a 20. Uh -huh. enough. Yeah. So I did 11 slashing. Wow. He's looking pretty bad. Yes. Pretty bad. Nice. And he moves away into the shadows. Um, was that a frightened? Uh, no, that is psychic damage. But the moving him back isn't 
He's not afraid. Uh, spell says, uh, on a failed save, it takes psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speeds allows from you. Creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground such as fire pit, successful save, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't say anything about fear. So, it terrible wouldn't... pain. So, like, the attack of opportunity wouldn't be putting itself in danger? No, that's, that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's just placement. All yeah. right. Well, Theodore, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, inspiration to inspire Ezrin. Oh. Um, give him a old toot on the didgeridoo. Doot, doot. Apostle, me. Apostle, give does... him an old toot on the didgeridoo. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Apostle does remind you that Laylapse is a death dog, has two heads, and gets two attacks. Thank you, Apostle. Uh, it's nope. going to miss. Yeah, it's going to miss. <laughs> okay. Next up are the baddies. Uh, let's see. Let me roll something real quick. What is that? He's going to go after... So this uh, this guy... Is gonna go after Tari, and do a underworld bolt at her. And Wait, which guy? Oh, that's not with advantage. Um, is he within five feet of Calamario? No, no, he is okay. not. He is not. Um, eighteen to hit. That hits. Uh, AC is my eighteen, or oh, eighteen is, it... is my AC. Okay. And you are missing hit points, so you're going to take... Carambas. All right, you will take 24, I think, necrotic damage. Yes. You will indeed. <clears throat> and that's its turn. And then the next one, next to you, Tari, let's see... Yeah, it's going to go after you as well. But of course it will. With this two-handed great sword, it does not get advantage. So 26 does hit, though. All right, that's going to be 10 slashing and 11 necrotic. So 21. How you looking, Tari? Uh, not great. Uh, I have 19 out of 144 points. Yikes. Oh my god. All right, and that's going to do a strength drain with a 28 attack. That's going to be eight more necrotic. And you will take an additional four strength draining points. It's rolled four every, every time. time. you rolled a fucking four. Jeez. I can't every... believe that. All right. The next Wait, dude. So I have 11... Hit points. Just letting you know. Yeah, I know. Ugh. The next dude's gonna run back into it. He's he's undaunted. And, and somehow I manage my rage. Yeah. Despite being cool. a rat in a cage. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Does twenty-one hit Ezrin? Um. No, well, I already used my reaction, so I guess it does. This, this long sword's gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did roll like 22 fourteens in a row. Now we're all over the place. All right, so you take fifteen slashing and twelve necrotic. Twenty-one total. You take that necrotic. All right, and then he's gonna try to strength drain you too. He doesn't like uh, Theodore right now. Oh, that's going to be 13 to hit. That's going to miss. That is going to miss. That is going to miss. Theodore uh, laughs in Minotaur. Well, it was going after Ezrin. Well. But still laughs. Theodore is still laughs. still laughs. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Them's, them's their turn. Ezrin, how you doing? Not feeling very bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That first attack, he had disadvantage. Let's roll it again. Oh, that's right. I forgot. With the long sword. Uh, 20. Still hits. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. And hasn't changed. No. 
I am feeling a bit worried about Tari. I'm going to use, let's see. Nice. 70? I heal her for 70. Wow. What? By using one charge of my rod of resurrection. Wow. Um, I love you. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. God. I promised none of my friends would die again like Lucky Lala. <laughs> that is amazing. Damn. What? That's a good magic item right there. Yeah. Very good. Wow, and you're powerful. Lucky, or excuse me, Faradix is like, shit, what am I even here for? Yeah. <laughs> I only get, well, I get five charges of it, which is awesome. And heal is only one charge. That's, per that's long right. rest. Pretty awesome item. And then it can do right. resurrection as well. But that takes five charges, and then I have to roll a 1d20, and it might destroy the wand. Yeah, so. yeah. That, that is, yeah. That is dangerous. Yeah. Fortunately, we have enough cleric -y kind of people in here. I think you should be okay. That's what I was figuring. I was like, I'll do it for a heal so that maybe uh, Phoenix can heal me instead because <laughs> I really need it too. <laughs> I know. But I right. thought Tari needed it more. All right. Uh, yeah, I was, what, 11 points? Yeah, yeah. you were looking bad. You were <laughs> real beat up there. He Not was... being able to heal you for a whole round really hurt. Yeah, this giant yeah, was just like... Just Fucking T-balled your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like Aragorn at the last battle with the troll. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ezrin, uh, you use a great axe then, yeah? Yeah, 22. 22 hits. 11 slashing plus my piety, which will be another four lightning. Archangel, I will use for healing myself. Oh. Yeah, I healed up four. Ezra, oh. how do you want to kill this giant underworld beast? Nice. Oh, how do I want to do it? I, I hit him with my great axe, and I would like to try to like with the strength of it knock him off the cliff. Uh, yeah. Do a um. I don't have any strength though. So. Yeah, do a strength <laughs> roll with uh. Yeah, just do a straight up strength roll. Uh, can I do my intelligence since that's what I get to use? For <laughs> no, this is gonna be a strength. I smart him off the uh, ledge. No, I debate him off the ledge. Thirteen. <laughs> I mean, it mostly falls off, but it's still hanging on a little bit. Okay, at least the head, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like its upper arm and like t like one of its arms and torsos is over the edge for sure. Okay. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. All right, Pharynx, you're up. Wait, wait, Calamario. Oh, oh Calamario. <laughs> Calamario <laughs> tried to hit the giant guy. Finally hit. Uh, 11 force. Okay. And clickety clack. <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Clickety clack's become a full on action hero the last couple of years. <laughs> he's a, he's yes. a beast. He's cutest so little thing too. Well, like, like the last fight we were in, like every time he was doing max damage. Like Andy <laughs> with that damn strength drain. How much damage did it take that killed it? What? The damage that killed it. What about the damage that killed it? How much was it? Um It was fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Yep, it's dead. Okay. Okay. Sorry, what were you doing? Did you do something else? Um, clickety clack oh, hit. Fascinating. Yeah, I got that. Oh, you got clickety clack yep. hit and yep. Calamario's hit. Oh no, I don't think I got the eight. All right. Cool. Is that it? Yep. Okay, Tari, you're finally uh, Wait, feeling. My turn. Oh, God, next turn. I keep messing up. Yeah. Jeez. Pharynx. Okay, I'm going to do my Mass Cure Wounds. <laughs> Woo! It's actually called, yeah, Mass Cure Wounds. And whatever it, I cast, it's going to add 10 to the total. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Where is it? 
mask. Here, here it is. So, third, uh, only 23. Uh, does that include the 10? Yes. I didn't hey, do very well. Hey, Theodore Belfield, up. 23. Doing much better. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm, I broke the uh, triple digit. Okay, good. You're back in the hundreds? Yeah, you're back in barbarian territory now. And then... I don't have any more... I can't do anything else. <laughs> I need more spell slots. You can hit. I can't hit. You can that try. was an action. It, oh, what? you're ad you're out of actions. Yeah, that was an action. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it then. Okie dokie. That was wonderful. Thank you. I can't even do any spells. I only bonus. That's it. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're up, Tari. What are you doing? So I'm right. Not it's. I'm up. Yep. Well, I'm gonna attack this dick. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, recklessly. Okay. You're real mad. So twenty-seven for uh, what? Yeah. Tw twenty-seven hits. Absolutely. And 15 damage. Uh, gonna hit it again, recklessly. Okay. 26 hits. And 18 damage. Yeah, this thing's looking real bad now. Well. Them's your turn, right? Tari just wants to say... Sorry. Tari just wants to say, bastard. <laughs> And it just growls back at you. Uh, <sighs> it's okay. You're, you know, do you know what? Do you believe in karma? <laughs> just growls more, picking up its sword for another swipe at something. <laughs> Rexenor, you're up. All right, uh, I am going to cast Mind Spike on fifth level at ye old giant there next to Tari. Okay. Needs to do a wisdom saving throw. Oof. Shit damage. Probably save, too. Mm, you 20. Through ones. Uh, he will take 13 psychic damage, I guess. Okay. Uh... uh Let's see, Ezrin, how you looking? I'm about 20 down. I'm not too bad. Uh, well, I might as well do something productive this round. Uh, I'm going to use a fourth level spell to cast Healing Word on you. I can find it here. Fantastic. Um, I'll heal you for 20. Sweet, nice. that was exactly what I was down. <laughs> Good job. Uh... I'm doing better as a healer this fight than uh, as a damage dealer. Uh, no, you got fireball. Yeah, that, that fireball helped. One of the things, though. Uh, so Laylux is going to bite and miss. He's going to bite again. Uh, 19, I want to say. Uh, uh, 20, actually. Oh, shit, I didn't do fire damage last time. Uh, so it is going to take uh, 10 piercing damage and uh, let's see here, another 10 fire damage. Nice. Yeah, it's looking real rough. Hell yeah. Uh, and then Theodore is going to keep doing a good thing, I suppose. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's use that big old level six there. Uh, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at the giant here. Needs to do a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, 
seven. Oh my god, this guy is rolling for shit. <laughs> he is going to take 32 psychic damage. What? And must use his reaction to move away, which should give at least Tari an attack of opportunity. 32? 32. All right, how do you want to end it? <laughs> oh, it's over. Yeah. I, I picture his head just... Yeah. Full on scanners here. It's like a piece of obsidian skull just exploding everywhere. And as that happens and this thing collapses in a heap, you see Vrakos take this other one and just pummel the hell out of it and yes. then launch it over the edge and dies as well. There's still one more return, though. There is one more return. You're right. Um, that, that one's still standing there. You're right. All right. Hiding. Rex Theo, what do you want to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to use uh, Inspiration on Tari. Okay. Um, so, Ezrin, you've got a D8. Tari, you've got a D8. <laughs> um, Sweet. And that's Theo's turn. All right. The next one is the returned. Let's see. Um, he's going to try to run away. Uh, Lapless, you get an attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah, he does. Nat 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So that is going to be three damage. Uh, oh, that is going to be whoa. 18 piercing. Okay. And eight fire. So 26 total. What? Okay. Wow. Wow, guys. Uh, and this thing continues on, though, and screws into the shadows and the gloom and quickly goes out of sight. That's right. Run, bitch. And you guys are now free to cross the Faragax Bridge. Oh, yes. What do y'all want to do? Cross it. Let's cross it. <laughs> we, we, do, we do the shit. We did all the work. Careful. Can we have can we have the giant uh hot metal boy go first just to make sure it's safe? Yeah, he'll continue to go first and uh okay. at this point he looks back and says The way appears to be clear. Yay! It's a little minor hassle. Yes. Alright, let's see. Um yeah what uh anything else you want to do before you cross the bridge do you want to see if there's anything like dropped or any like i'll do an investigation check treasure yeah. gold day let's okay. see if theo does any better any gold oh shoot wow. atari is atari nailing the amazing. intelligence based saves our skills tonight yeah yeah, Tari uh, is, is now calm and no longer raging. There we go. All right. And, yeah, and Ezrin, you all managed to, It's mostly junk because it's the return, but some of the items that you find from these giants are pretty rare. And you're able to figure that there's enough items and gold for each of you about 500 gold pieces 500 yeah no i'm gonna put that in copper over here Do that. <laughs> tom would appreciate that i thought he might i thought he might and as you all continue on you go through the archway which is this long hallway that then enters into more uh, cliffs and uh, canyons, wide enough, certainly, um, for you all to walk two, three abreast, but um, as it's a major road. But the area is still very rugged outside the road, very hot, very dry. It takes you another day and a half to almost two days of walking. Before you have see, we rested? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see you take a nice long rest. Um, long we'll, rest? Yep, yeah. nice long rest. Uh, does that retain, or does that... Um... Yes, that does put your uh, strength back. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. And as, 
as the canyons begin to recede and you see a vast plain of desert, outside the mouth of these canyons, you begin to see a building. Ancient looking and mostly in disrepair. Some of it, the walls have collapsed. And you know this to be Camp No Hope. Uh, you should be able to see it as well. Absolutely named. Can you see, don't it? see it? No. No. Uh, don't yet. Don't yet. Ah. Is it on the? But my journal has like fifty-seven thousand things. In Hold on. It. Yeah, it's camp. There's. There yeah, it is. Yeah, now it shows up. Oh wow! Looks like yeah. the. I like, like the so walls, but otherwise it looks like a shithole. <laughs> yeah. It's like the mummy, the mummy movie. Yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> Rachel Vice. Oh She's yes. My beating heart. She is my favorite. She's one of my favorite actresses. Uh, Apostle says that a strength of eight must have been terrifying. I presume for Tari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you almost died, Tari. Yeah. Yeah. Tari, really had a, Tari had a rough fight. Yeah. You know. If Tari believed with God believed in God or the gods, um, she, you know, she'd be very comforted, comforted, sorry. Um, I had way too much, uh, wine tonight. Oh. <laughs> Are you believe oh, in the strength of your friends. friends. Yeah. Friendship. I was going to say that I, I believe in my comrades and I think that we're, you know, you guys take care of us, mm -hmm. all of us. <laughs> we're, we're, we're. We're, uh, you know, uh, whatever this means. A family. You, oh, are, you, you, you have a dr trauma bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just uh, 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 every day. Trauma bond. Yeah. <laughs> every role we've made. Every role. Uh, I just, I just oh, picture no. Tari, like John Turturro and Oh Brother Art. They all just like grabbing us around the neck. You my boon companions. <laughs> yeah. Her has nine lives. She's a cat. Do not sink the treasure. <laughs> <sighs> so next time we'll start off uh, camp, camp No Hope. Um, okay. I believe we're skipping next week altogether. Is that correct? I can't make it. Yeah. Thursday yeah, I think that's what we said. Or Tuesday. Because. Yeah. Um, or. Practice. <gasps> too much. The only, the only night I would be able to do the next week is Monday. So next week, um, yeah, no, because that next week I'm traveling. Um, yeah, okay, okay. So not the when 18th we, either. I don't know. Or the 18th, week of the 18th. The 18th is a Sunday, and well, I think we're doing the campaign on that. Well, day. that week, I, I'm saying like the week. Oh yeah, yeah, the week of the 18th. Um, uh, let me double check. Monday. I mean, we could since we're skipping next week. Um, what do we got? I, mean, I could do the twenty second or any day the the eighteenth of the week. I need day works for me. Could you do Monday night? I know that that's a shitty night, but that's the only night I'm going to be in state. What are we, Amy? Do you have your concert that week in practice? No, no, the concert's on the eighteenth, seventeenth. Okay. Are you going to be too tired to do it then on Monday? It's just D and D. It's not okay. like, just, yeah. it's just D and D. I mean, watch your goddamn mouth. We just have to show up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do any planning. You're going for Sandman. You <laughs> you're going to Camp No Hope. No, no. Uh, 19th will work. So, um, okay. I'll send a text okay. to remind everybody. I'll put it on my calendar. Okay. Sweet. All right, hey, guys. Other than trash, that's the only thing on my schedule that day. That is trash day. <laughs> trash. It's a trash day for us, too. All right. Um, there we go. Oh, nice. All right. Great job, everybody. Great job, Andy. I want to specifically call out because yeah. yeah, it's really fun. Work, I know. Work like this. I yeah. Know. Yeah. No worries. It's fun. You know, that fun was a lot of fun, you know, oh. seeing Tari like rounded into. It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> it's great. It's great. See you in person Saturday. Yeah. I'm thinking sometime yeah. after two. So wait for me, please. Yeah, I'm gonna will. be I'm gonna be scrambling to get to you guys as well, a Lon, I would not dare have you miss my white elephant gift. Yeah, yeah no, we won't do any festivities. Oh, I'm so excited for mine too. I'm yeah. 
Yes, I'm I know. Just, like, looking forward yes, to it. So we'll probably be munching and stuff when you show up, but take Go your time. For that. Take your time. <laughs> Get yeah. drunk, you know. Yeah. Hey, you know, don't do not rush is what I would say. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. Get there as soon as you can, but don't rush. Yeah. Okay. I'm good all night. All right. See you guys. Okay. Night. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 All right. All right, chat. Uh, shame for me, but you all have a great week. Yeah, a couple congrats on the session. Uh, you're all alive for now. That's right, for now, but not not for long. Um, thanks. Great stream. Yeah, so no D&D &D this Saturday. We have uh, a get-together, our annual holiday get-together. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm sorry my mic is so quiet. I'm going to try to make it a little louder. Uh, and then, yeah, so we'll be back the 19th at Monday. You know, holidays got to be a little flexible. Anyway, Apostle, thanks as always for hanging out. Tack, Eeyore, man, it's good to see you, buddy, if you're still around as well. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great stream. I had a good time. Thanks, Tack. Well, uh, I'll catch one of your, one of your streams. I really, really, really want to download, um, War Thunder and get to playing that. I really do. So you'll have to walk me through it, maybe. All right. Y'all have a good night. Auf Wiedersehen.